about as we approach this weekend. I'd ask you to keep in your prayers our young people who are playing basketball. Their games start this weekend. Also, um, we're beginning to plan for Ash Wednesday and Lent and the Triduum and Easter Masses, so continue to pray for the, the staff as we make decisions going forward about how best to meet the needs of people who are comfortable coming into church or not coming into church. And I um, want to let you know that, I don't know if you saw the news, but the Vatican has issued new guidelines about how ashes are to be distributed. They will not be marked on the forehead. They will be sprinkled on top of the head. This will be fun to watch. So I was joking that I wanted to get a flower sifter, and we're going to put the ashes in the flower sifter, and we'll use that. No, I'm kidding. Um, but at any rate, and then next weekend, we have our kickoff of Catholic Schools Week. The noon mass will be... Um, attended by our youth choir will be singing. I will have a number of young people reading readings and greeting at Mass, and that Mass will be live streamed. Also because of COVID, our open house will be virtual this year. So again, look at the link on the parish school website if you'd like to get a tour of our school to see the wonderful things that are happening there. Continue to pray for all of our teachers that they might continue to um, and, and press on as we continue to meet the challenges of COVID and continue uh, learning with masks and all that stuff. So they're a great group of people. I'm very proud of our school and all they've accomplished, especially during these most challenging days. Have a blessed week and you remain in my prayers. I'll actually be gone from the 1st to the 8th of February, so if you want to get a hold of me, please do so before next weekend. Have a great day.